Right. Meanwhile, Shining Star, you are crossing, um, uh, crossing Tourmaline and have arrived at a, uh, a, a glade, although it's a big glade, uh, at the foot of, uh, the Mount of the Ten Temples. Um, I believe somebody previously, uh, made a comment about how disappointing it was there weren't any elven, um, festivals and things mentioned in the calendar back book. And I've realized the obvious reason for this is because, uh, elves, elfy. There's a festival every other day. So. Oh, uh, right, right. Why well, list them all? And today is a festival, uh, apparently some sort of fire festival. There's a big bonfire in the middle of this glade and, uh, Elves all over the place who've clearly been dancing around it are now mostly relaxed. Um, and you find Puck, um, uh, uh, next to a, a group of elves. Uh, he is a she, so impossibly beautiful, uh, almost glowing with wonderful complexion, uh, blonde hair, um, lovely flowing robes. Uh, this evening he is wearing a, um, a kind of wreath of vine leaves around his head, although it's, it's at a slight angle just to show that it's ironic. We don't do this sort of thing seriously. Um, and he's obviously pleased to see you and says, Oh, Shining Star, thank you for, thank you for coming. Um, lovely to see you. Well, I was uh, uh, a most kind of you to send your peacock. Oh, yes, I know. It's just, uh, keeping in touch in, in uh, this city is so difficult. Um, Speaking of which, you didn't tell me you had such interesting friends. I have a lot of interesting friends, that's true. Uh, I would, uh, I would I'd love to meet some of them, particularly uh, uh, your friend Christabel. You didn't, uh, 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 I didn't realize you were so well connected. Well, Christabel does have a, a way, you know, she's personable, she's honest, she's uh, trusting, she's... She's uh, also... Uh, related to some of the movers and shakers um, in Hillfolk country. Her sister, uh, uh, Naomi, is um, uh, second only to the the general general himself. And, uh, so this is kind of interesting in that uh, my past history suggests that at least some movers and shakers, as you say, uh, among the Elven Empire... Uh, have actually been supporting nomad efforts in that conflict. And I say nothing as to the official policy of the official departments, channels, alliances, and whatnot, but only that I've seen the result of this, as you know, uh, so when you talk about leaders and stuff in the hill folk, are you talking about potential targets or potential assets? Um, or is that beyond my level? Oh, no, no, I'm, it doesn't need to be secrets here. Uh, oh, right, of course <laughs> not. I look around at the festival and, you know, shake out my hair um, a little bit. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we can be friends. Uh, speaking of which, do you want to take your boots? Um, and he said, and he's saying, uh, I think for the, um, for the Elven Empire, it's just important that good relations with the leaders of all the, the countries that border our territory. And, um, that includes the hill folk, and it includes the nomads, and it includes all sorts of people. Um, and other operations, I'm sure that's not so easy. Hmm. Uh, meanwhile, he's gesturing over. There's a um, group of people who are busy raking over a, a bed of coals. Uh, he says, that. Oh, I, I don't like the look festival. at that. What is I he... love the fire festival. It's so invigorating to look ahead to the, the coming year. And um, and uh, as, as this year dies, the next year comes. And we have to Am I familiar with the fire festival and its procedural oh, details? So it's, uh, it's, it's one of those walking across hot coals stunt things that people love to do in this. Um, he says, you have to get into the spirit of these things. If you want to join me? And he's, he's getting ready to, he's taking the boots off, the sandals off, and he's getting ready to... Well, let's see how you do. Up. 
Cool. Okay. So he calmly walks out across the coals. Uh, give me an alertness roll. Hmm. Not so great. I have good alertness, but let's see. Twelve. Oh, this isn't going to be good. No, I get an inferior result, unfortunately, as I squint to see how he does this. Ah. Uh, okay. Um, well, he's uh, infused by the, um, uh, the surrounding people. Everyone claps in time as he walks up. I'll um, clap. And, uh, yeah, and he's at the other end, and he nods over to you and says, Your turn. Mm-hmm. Are you going to join in this delightful festival? You can see other people have done this before, so it's not like. Uh, uh, necessarily impossible to do. The question... Can I rack my memory for knowledge of this feat? Uh, yeah, well, yes, you can. Um, uh, yeah, you could do memory or you can do knowledge. Please. Memory is much better. Yeah, go memory. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay. So, with a... Oh, that's better. Okay, I get a good memory result. I'm like, well, I couldn't see what he did, but I'm sure I've heard of this, you know. Oh, yeah. So, everyone says it's all... um, So, obviously, uh, some people will tell you it's all about getting right with religion and the elven spirits will see you fine if you just walk fire. Uh, Most people think it's just, you know, you need the right attitude, go for it, just walk across really quickly. The top layer of the cold will usually have been... cooled down enough that you don't want. That's what they told you when, you know, this was the big fashion back when you were uh, younger and more innocent uh, shining stuff and before you'd been in prison. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't remember any of that shit. Tell me the part I do remember. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, yes, it's all about the positive mental attitude is you remember. <laughs> At the same time, uh, if, you, if you do it, I'm going to make you roll uh, whichever of your leg defenses is higher higher with some sort of uh, role to see if you injure yourself or not. No other, no other insights as to what may be involved here. All right. It's just a, a, a nice ritual where people walk across and there are people rubbing their feet. Up. They were fine. They just went straight across. All right. Um, I'm going you to try and remember. use my, I'm going to try and use my speed. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And finally, for once, I get a good roll on my speed based on my agility of 13, rolling an 88, which gives me a superior result on my speed. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you uh, elegantly move across in a rapid way. The rhythm of the clapping accelerates as you go over. And you are uh, you make, you make that seems like a good enough roll. You don't need to make anything. You... you Across with unsinged feet. All right then. And the uh, the surreptitious uh, uh, elf around the corner with various lotions and unsinged yes, feet. Yes, yes, exactly. To treat your burn, burn I know. Throat. I I, I wave my hand. No need. No need. Um, no and uh, and I'll point yeah. out to Puck. Puck is, right. Puck is is uh, uh, smiling and uh, almost clapped you around the shoulders. Well, and I'll say now that we've celebrated and. Uh, uh, sort of joined in the spirit of it all, uh, I'm happy to inquire as to anything that you would like to know about. Uh, Information about Christabel specifically, uh, I may want some context for your need for that information. Uh, But I can tell you this, that it is highly unlikely that she could be used as leverage in any way uh, in the sense of 
implying that some harm might come to her, I don't think her sister would care a bit. On the other hand, the background of how her sister came to her prominent position, well now, that could be something that would have leverage on said sister's behavior if you were interested in such a thing. Jordan kept logging wrong, to see how well. Yeah, you... that hasn't gone well with this fellow before, so let's see. I, I'm going to give you a, a plus one common shift as well. Okay. You're making a strong case for, you know, what, what you can and can't what you can get at. Ooh, well, the rolling is going very well. I get an 86. Uh, with a bargain of eight, that puts me into great. And if I get a column shift, that gives me a superior result. So finally, I have found my feet. I am no longer intimidated. I'm not trying to show off. As a matter of fact, I am trying to speak for the benefit of my friend. Because mm -hmm. I really don't want them to like put you in chains and then threaten mm -hmm. your sister and say have them say, we have your sister, and she says, good. That's not going to go well, right? So, trying to avoid that. So, um, uh, he's, he's so I'll bargain for I'll bargain for Christabel's safety. So um, uh, Puck is uh, almost momentarily off balance. He's like he's very keen to stress that you know intimidating people, threatening people, catching people. That's not what he's all about. He's a um, uh, in his work and the work he'd like you to help him with is all about. Um, uh, information and building good relationships with people talking to people and all he really wants to do is understand the changes that have happened in the uh, in the leadership in the hill folk heritage so that he can uh better advise the queen and people like that of, of how best to deal with these uh these new people and how best a great to deal of it seems to be involved that it seems to involve shaming and blaming other people who are close to you so that you virtue signal, and then everybody has to do what you say. That seems to be a big deal uh, in more than one culture, uh, but certainly it's big in the hill folk. Anyway, so he says, uh, what you'd really like to do is meet Crystal, your friend, and he's got uh, uh, a little uh, get-together happening at his, uh, his home tomorrow night, if you'd like to bring her along. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, you may know about her business, relax a cat. Um, just oh, the really? thing for just the thing for your your edgy pet. And uh, I wanted to point out that um, she could use a sympathetic. a sympathetic understanding of her struggles as a single woman with her startup business and the vulnerabilities that she may have, that she may be, <laughs> the problems she may be subject to if, for example, an unscrupulous partner were to try to exploit the situation. Hypothetically, because we want good relations with everybody. Well, we do want good relations with everybody, but same time um we want to make certain that if people help us out we help them out as well so if there are problems in places where i can help a new friend then i'm trying to excellent well i'm certain we understand each other perfectly so i'll do my best to help you at this time excellent. and make us so the, all so much happier as i say the party tomorrow and uh, uh, do please um uh dress for the occasion uh costume of of the thing Right. Okay, I and look, masks. Look at my look at my dress. I'm like, oh boy. Okay. All right. Well, sorry guys, that took a little time. Let's see how the drinking is yes. going over there with the the other untrustworthy elf in the picture. 